done with the planning. It's officially the next day. We planned a lot of the stuff for the meetup yesterday. I'm sitting here in bike stuff, right? I'm gonna go uh, ride with Mr. Brandon Penrod. Green room member. He's gonna grab his bike from the back of my house. And uh, yeah, my body today. Aching, just pain. You know, from the stuff that we did yesterday. And that's just, wakeboarding and wake surfing takes a toll on your body. I mean, Steve Rakin this morning, he never got up on the wake surfboard. And I heard him, he was like, man, my body is just killing me. It hurts, everything hurts. Tough sport, fun sport. We're gonna go do a ride and then, I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. But uh, I'm gonna take you with us though. And uh, still need to get the cool finds from yesterday out of the truck too as well. Getting ready to roll? All right, we're heading to a place called Walnut Creek and um, it's like 8.20 in the morning. And one of the things that I do, I wake up at five o'clock Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday before garage sales, I wake up at six. And then on Sundays, I try to keep it really tight, like as close as possible to six or five or anything like that. So we stayed up till like one o'clock last night and then I woke up at eight. You know, I could have woken up at like 10 and then, you know, I won't be able to get to a ride like this. And so I try to keep it as tight as possible. I wish I could sleep in more, but I mean, the overall goal is that I want to be more productive, you know, with my days. Pulled up to Walnut Creek and this, uh, this parking lot is mad packed. Oh my gosh. A lot of times it's like this, but it's also like nine o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's not like an evening time in Austin, Texas or anything. And I don't even know if I can park here. I can probably cannot park here. But hopefully I can get this camera out there on the trail. Uh, that's not exactly the kind of camera I need to be bringing on the trail. My GoPros are at home. And uh, still want to get you guys some cool footage. Ready? Ready. Nice. I think my wife's gonna meet up with us too. I think she's out here somewhere, so we'll see some Whitney. It's a nice day for a ride, man. I mean, clearly we're not the only people thinking that. Stupid amounts of mountain bikers everywhere. All right, we got Rachel Money in the house. She's just <laughs> got done with like a 30 minute or maybe an hour with Whitney. That's my wife. We're wearing the same thing. Copied me, babe. No, this is just a really good jersey that we just recently the bought. Dogs love it. They were okay. Like, they love they back so, to the we're going to go do a little ride. So, I promised you guys a better edit than this. Um, don't have the right camera here today. But it's nice. Um, you know, we, we like this trail because there is decent tree, tree cover. And it's probably 90 95 outside already, so if you're not under tree covering, you can get in big trouble. Uh, we probably have one to two liters a piece, and we're drinking a lot of water. So, uh, three. you have three liters, yeah. Ooh. I ran out yesterday. Ooh. Hey, who sold you that bike? I don't know, some dude named Bonafide Hustle. Ooh. <laughs> I know that guy. How are you feeling? Good. How's your cut on your eye? Um, it's okay, <laughs> it's hopefully not bleeding. Okay, she had a fin strike yesterday. Uh, we didn't cover it on film, but uh, she Shark got hit. Day. She bailed off the wake surfboard and the fin got her in the face, essentially. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly the time to like pull out the camera because uh, there was gushing blood and everything. Watch out! Professional riders coming through. What's up, guys? Thank you. Done with the trail. How's it feel? Good. Did you almost die? Pretty close. Arrived at the house. Brandon is hydrating. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Stole one of my waters? Stole one of my waters and I told him about it. Oh, he told me about it. That yeah, hurts. Raken, what's up, man? Not much, man. Just dude. Uh, editing a video. Were you uh, under the weather this morning a little bit? Why? You kind of sore, right? Did you feel the soreness? Oh, gosh. What did it feel my like? Back is so, just, you didn't. It did, feels like. Well, hold on. You didn't get up on the wake surfboard, but you tried, which is very well, admirable. I almost went to that and just immediately I fell. So. Right. Now, uh, two years ago, Raken wouldn't have ever tried at all. Yeah, so I'm but, proud of myself for trying, but uh, I'll tell you, after yesterday with Rachel's freaking yeah, eye getting bashed up, that made me a little bit nervous <laughs> because the fin of the board, when she fell, flipped up, smashed her in the eye, like messed up her nose, so. Right there. That's my, my pre-workout funnel. Dude, you know you can get one for like a dollar one. Yeah, you know you can also get one from Amazon Prime for a penny, and that's what I paid for that thing. No, it's a piece of paper and tape. <laughs> right, it's a piece of paper and tape. I'm too cheap to spend a dollar. I handed it to him. He's like, uh, we're gonna have to talk. That's not for protein. Just yeah, the protein is just a scoop into a cup. And, and he's got a bottle of water, babe. Oh, give him a cup. He wants a bottle of water. Dude. 
Oh, okay. What are you doing? I'm gonna print that shipping label out. Oh, you sold. So you sold something on eBay <laughs> that he <laughs> bought yesterday for eight dollars. So you bought this whole thing for eight dollars yesterday. You sold one piece already. You for parted 13, it out, and it's gonna be like two something to ship. So I'll make like ten bucks. Okay. And then I have like twenty something more of them to sell. Yeah. And so you're like, parting out essentially. And they a bike can't rack. break. They never get returned. Like, okay, but you're essentially parting out the bike rack that was on the. And it took me twenty minutes to part it out. It's done. Okay. Cool, man. So, there you go. Yeah. Our friend right. Brandon Penrod is leaving. Yeah. Later, Brandon. Right, man. Good to see you, man. Good bike ride this morning, huh? Yeah. That was excellent, dude. You get some protein, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Man, that does not look like spring water now. That looks like muddy uh, Alabama lake water. Well, good to see you, man. We'll see you on Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, whatever well, the first day of the meetup is. Because it's Wednesday is when it starts early in the morning. Yeah. So Wednesday it starts early in the morning, and then we have a seminar Thursday. He's part of the seminar. Pretty good. Yep. How much did you make in that? What What was your best month this year in FBA? How much did you make? This month was in gross. March. How much did I make profit? No, just or gross. Was, how many sales? I mean, how, how much in sales? sales? It was like eighty four, eighty five thousand dollars. Eighty four, eighty five thousand yeah. in one month. Wow. Yeah. Then what was the month uh, before that? Curious. Fifty three thousand. Fifty three thousand. That's why. And then didn't you take a month off in one of those? How much did you take on? How much did you make on your month off? You took a whole month off of FBA, April, didn't source or anything. So March I made eighty five thousand. April, I think I took off most of April because I was burnt out after doing that. Yeah. And uh, May still end up doing like thirty two, thirty three thousand sales. So I didn't work that whole month. That was left over. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? In two thousand seventeen, he literally said, "I didn't work all month and I made." Yeah. Thousand, so gross, and then he takes home. Sales. Yeah, gross right. sales. So it's probably ten or twelve thousand profit of that. So you're you're running at about like a thirty percent profit margin after. Yeah, all the way. Average, average, goods, average. Yeah, we're doing eighty-five thousand. And I mean, you, you know, you got to pay your hotel and stuff like that too on the road. But when I did eighty-five thousand, I think my gross profit was like twenty-six or twenty-seven. His mind is getting blown. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you guys right now. Ideas, ideas are. Yep. How many other people? How many? How many people out there? Your word happens, dude. How many other people out there are like, oh, I could start an eBay business, Amazon business. Like, I could go out and travel, and then just well, an I see, idea. I see. Honestly, I see it in the comment feeds. Like when you're doing the green room hangouts, yeah. you see people say, "I wish this, I wish that." Yeah. It's like you can't have that kind of mentality. You have to say, "I'm gonna go do this." You could still be working at your job. <laughs> you right? can play the details later. <laughs> I'm making him larger <laughs> than life on the camera now because he's talking so big. <laughs> I'm a <little> big. <laughs> Dang. So this is a breakfast that we concocted and in fact it doesn't have the little vegetable things that we wanted to put on here because they were molded from Costco. We just bought these things like two days ago. They're totally molded. These like veggie bite looking nugget things. Anyway, forget it. So we have a very healthy, we have a very healthy guacamole, cholula, egg whites. I mean healthy fats, some good low calorie sauce, no calorie sauce on top and then just egg whites. Why, why am I eating this way is because I know I'm going to be having carbs and a lot of chips and a lot of, you know, who knows what I'm gonna order at the Hula Hut. So that's my thought process is like, there's no sense in really carving up right now when I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna be eating a bunch of carbs later. What's up? The bruise on my knee is from mountain biking. Oh my God. I was just watching something on TV with College Picker and Raykin calls me from his bike ride. He's like, hey, is this a pretty good thing to buy for 10 bucks? Sends me a picture of a Saurus Bones 3 rack, which is worth about 70 bucks in town. So I immediately just jet out the house I grab it. And it's on 100 Amazing Items resale. That's right, it is. Hey, come check out the rest of the stuff that, that the break. Is in the you gotta, you gotta see this leaf. Come check this out. Look at this. Who cares about Steve's back? Right, come here. Back. Steve's back sucks anyway. So I'm gonna show you. Um, I haven't seen this stuff yet. Yeah, so he gives me, he goes like, come check out this garage sale. He's on a ride. And he goes, come check out this garage sale. I bought, is this worth 10 bucks? I'm like, oh my God, it's totally worth 10 bucks. I show up, I spend 20 bucks total. This is what we get. Saurus Bones 3 Triple. rack. Yeah. Sells me that helmet. Sells me that helmet. Sells me this jacket. Sells me this tank bag. It's got some armor. When you don't want full leather and you want up some breathability, you convert to these in the summertime, these type of jackets. I can't believe it, man. I took off so fast from the house. We're gonna do a very short uh, lake day today because we have that special thing later on, so. Uh, getting rigged. You are you are around. you broken? Nope. You okay. <laughs> You're not broken. Oh, there, right? <laughs> Gosh, we right. right. got broken. Listen. Oh. Oh. Wow. Blake for a small, Rachel, a know. very small day today. Okay, like yeah. three hour day. It's not my. Let's go. Short, like, 
Yep, short wake day. We're gonna go out, get some sun, do a little wake surfing. Yeah. And uh, then we're gonna go out to get some food. We gotta get Raken. He's doing a live broadcast in my cul-de-sac. Your ride is here. It's time to go to school, Raken. Did you see his shirt? Yeah, he made me show it on my video. Uh. Yo. I was on Instagram live. Nice. We're on, we're on the way to the lake. It's a beautiful day. This is probably one of the later starts we've ever got. Um, should be there, 30 minutes. Lake prep is no joke, right? It takes a while. Thanks, you guys are just like, are along for the ride. I got the cover today, so. Yeah, you got the cover okay. for the boat. I good. bought the Red Bull for you. Oh, that was good, thank you so much. And wait, and? Did you tell them yet about? I did, the... I showed them. Okay, good. It was on here. Yeah. I gave someone credit. It wasn't you though, it was someone else. Anyway. He had a great, a great <laughs> freaking lead, man. Unbelievable lead. So I might start processing that tomorrow. Dude, I just saw that thing sitting there. That I can't believe you didn't look at that motorcycle stuff. No, because I saw it all, and I just I was oh, gonna wow. see pictures of everything. Well, that's cool. Yeah. All right, there's the bridge down there, and the lake is down there. We are gonna head up. We're gonna put this boat in the water in about three seconds. So I hope you enjoyed that footage. Now we are at the Hula Hut. This is what it looks like. It's in basically a, uh, you know, you can drive up to it, but you can also bring your boat up to this restaurant. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we just uh, tied the boat up real quick. And uh, off we go. And we're gonna go basically up this little place. There's raking right there. And we are gonna go eat somewhere in here. That's what's up. Let's go get some food. Pass, we're sitting here. We might get this. We're on a table. You can just walk up and get a table outside, or you can get full service like in the actual restaurant. And uh, the menu is a little bit smaller here, but this everything is very Polynesian tiki ish, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm in Hawaii right now. It's pretty. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Austin. It's a must. It's a must see, must go to. We just ordered our food. Local nachos, and Steve's eating barbecue chicken tacos or something. Eric and I are gonna wreak havoc on this thing. We need to gain some weight, right? Do you need to gain weight? No, not really, <laughs> but I know you do. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm yeah, so it's, just, it's chow time and then we're gonna, I don't know, it's a beautiful day outside. I really wanna stay out here, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pull off the lake a little bit early for the last thing tonight. Snap, and this is the aftermath. Hey, you full? Yeah. Oh my, my gosh. Stockers. You ready to go? Let's go. Food, baby. Oh God, let me get out of here. All right, see you later, Hula Hut. Thanks for letting us park up out here. I'm gonna remember to turn off my shoes. Yeah, you can on this one and do backflip, Chris. <laughs>